Good morning. Swedish people have these very old, great expressions. Yeah, I'm sure you have them too. Right? Swedish is a very old language. Yeah. And uh, I thought about one of them this morning. It's this one. Nu har du skitit i det blå skåpet. And it translates to, now you took a shit in the blue cupboard. And it means to go too far. See? It makes sense, doesn't it? You went too far. You took a crap in the blue cupboard. <laughs> yeah. And uh, looking at the situation right now, you can almost become philosophical about the whole thing. And I see this. I see a new world. Yeah. Not being built. It's just here. Yes. We see the mankind being divided into the jabbed and the unjabbed. And there's no doubt in my mind, the people who have been jabbed, they will be the ones who suffer. They will be sick. Yep. And they are supposed to work then, right? I see hospitals being crowded. Yeah. And I see the unjabbed doing fine. That's the new world. Right? And it could be totalitarian, but I don't think so. You see, because the truth is now coming out, despite mainstream media and the establishment trying to silence everything, it is coming out. See, So it will be stopped, this nonsense. But it's, it went too far. See what I mean? They took a crap in the blue cupboard and it will be irreversible. So we will see this. We are watching it now. It's, a, it's just changing. Everything is changing. See? Yeah, and I got another confirmation about this. Uh, uh, so there's so many examples of this. But this is a, an Irish doctor, Dr. Anne McCloskey. Uh, she's been working in medicine for 40 years. Wonderful woman. And she's talking. She's making a video in her home. Uh, and I will post a link to this. So Dr. Anne McCloskey, she's talking about how she came home from her shift at the hospital. And she says she's been treating people and, uh, you know, suffering people, traumatized people, very sick people. And she says, with the exception of children, Almost all of them, all of these patients, have been double jabbed. And she says the hospital is jammed with people who have been now tested positive. Yeah. Jabbed people. See? So they are now crowding the hospital. She also tells a story about this young girl who took the shot and then she got a cloth in her upper arm and she says she never saw this before during her 40 years in medicine never young healthy girl with a cloth and uh, then she saw another doctor talking to the girl you see and she and the doctor said uh, it has nothing to do with the shot you know you probably hurt yourself in the gym so this lady, uh, Anne McCloskey, she's, uh, she can't sleep. She's so worried about this. And she says she hopes she's wrong about this, but she knows she's not. She says it's not, uh, this, this jab is certainly not providing any protection and it's doing real harm. Yeah. Right, needs to be stopped she says. Yeah, well, it's sad, but at the same time, if you are being philosophical about it, you could almost say that it's the earth trying to do something about the situation with mankind. Yeah. Right, natural selection. Now, I don't know this, of course, I just know that we are looking at the big, big change right now. 
the world will be very, very different from next week. You see, it's happening now. So, you better prepare for it. I think you are prepared for it, right? Aren't you? I think I am. Yeah. I'm not taking any shots, that's for sure. And I'm looking at ways to survive, basically. Yeah. I'm doing fine now, but things will change very soon. I mean, what are they going to do when they have all these hospital, hospitals filled with people who had the jab? And then they are jabbing them again and again and again. So, uh, yeah. And then they want us all to take it also. So, you better be prepared. I was talking to my girlfriend about this the other day. About taking the shot, you see. And she said, you know, I will never, never take it, the shot. And I said, that's right, me neither. You know, if they, they are coming for me, because, you know, they haven't contacted us, any of us yet, to, to book an appointment or something. Uh, we heard nothing about this. But if they will make it mandatory and they are coming here to the homestead, you know, there will be some uh, casualties. <laughs> yes, I will never take it. All right. Be good.